Welcome to Yolo, Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. <laughs> Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. I can't put it towards how amazing this view is. Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth watering foods that only this great state has to offer. So can we dig in? My mic is seriously the happiest person ever right now. Why you ask? Well, to simply put it, you only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your one-stop destination on your trip across this great Lone Star State. I'm your host, AC. We've got a super fun episode for you today with temperatures peaking over the hundreds. Yeah, it's uh, pretty brutal outside and so hot, you could probably cook an egg on the sidewalk. So with that being said, it's a perfect time for some water activities. So for our first destination, we're headed to San Antonio to check out a family favorite that guarantees to make even the hottest days just a little bit cooler. In a state where summertime temperatures can regularly hit triple digits, staying cool comes with the territory of our next destination. So, where exactly are we headed? We are here at Splashdown because any true Texan knows the value of a good water park. And trust us, this is our second time here. And with over 50 rides and attractions, it was pretty hard fitting it all into one episode. So we're back for more. To help us check off our Splashdown list, we met up with the park's owner and good friend of the show, James Kenny. You know, James, I love this place. There's just so many memories for me as a kid growing up and I just absolutely love coming back to Splashtown. Well, I'll tell you one thing, speaking of making memories, this is our 35th anniversary. Hey, congratulations. So there's a lot of memories that have been made here over the years. Yeah. This is the family affordable place to come and hang out. Yeah, definitely. And you know, so last year we actually came and we highlighted all the things for the big kids to do and what they're attracted to. So what about the little guys? I actually have over 38 water slides and all these kiddie pool areas just for the little ones under 48 inches. Oh, wow. So there's plenty of stuff here for them. I know one of the great things that you do and what I love about you so much and what makes y'all so great is your commitment to the San Antonio community. So what are y'all doing this year to stay involved? So we're doing the fifth annual Splash Out Bullying, but we're expanding the message throughout the entire summer. So yeah. you're gonna see some PSA announcements out there, radio and television, uh, just spreading the word about our Splash Out Bullying and helping helping stop this problem. Yeah, absolutely. And you have YOLO Texas' support 100%. Hopefully we can spread the message. We appreciate it. So last but not least, I see some tubes. I see uh, towels and everything. But what if someone actually forgets some of these things? How do we get a hold of these? I actually forgot a bathing suit today. <laughs> and uh, I think we need to head Come up on. to our surf shop. We've got some bathing suits and shirts and towels and lotion. We can stock up over there. Awesome. Let's go. All right, perfect. Plenty of options. Yeah, I'm easy. This will work. That'll work. And I got a tote bag too. Oh, great. Perfect. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a shirt. Let's do it. Well, now I can't find the shirt that I grabbed. <laughs> There's too many options. I know. How about a Splashtown Texas shirt? Perfect. It for matches. Yolo, Texas. I love it. All right. And what about some water shoes, just in case you forget? Those aren't my color. <laughs> <laughs> I meant for me. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's hot out there. All right, let's go. Splashdown has something for everyone. There are not only rides for young adults and parents, but there's over 38 attractions for the little ones too, making it a great family water park in San Antonio. All right, James, so some things look a little bit different here. Yep, we've added a few more kids slides. And, uh, so here's our clownfish and our new alligator here, Tube Tyler, our mascot. This is just our kids cove. This is our Splash Island. Right on the other side is what we call Kate's Castle. Okay. And then on the other side of that is our Crystal Falls. Wow. This entire stretch is all for kids under 48 inches. All right, so it looks like we hit a very lively area of the park. So we where did. exactly are we? We are in our Splash Island Splash Pad. Yeah. It's a very busy, popular area. It's a four-story ride complex with eight slides, 50-foot dancing waters, tipping buckets everywhere. Wow. It's a lot of fun for all the kids. They just have a blast here. And 
So now we're in the Crystal Falls area. Woo! We've got 11 more water slides for the little ones here. Awesome. We've got our lily pads right behind us, as well as water basketball. It's just a great place to cool off. It's a zero entry, so you can come in, you can relax in a foot depth, 18 inches, or even four foot all the way back there. So it's for all heights. I love how the parents are just bringing in chairs and just relaxing, chilling, watching the it's kids It's like being play. at the beach. I love it. It's perfect. It's my cup of tea. <laughs> All right, James, so what if you have a teenager who is with your group? What do you have for those guys? We're in front of our star flight right now. Awesome. This is a completely enclosed single tube and double tube ride. The only thing you see are some stars when you're going in the turns. It's completely dark. Dark. And then also right behind us here is our seven story single tube, double tube, and triple tube ride complex. Awesome. So we can ride a triple tube down and just toboggan the whole way down. It is a blast. And it's getting a little warm. I think it's time we get in the water. This heat is killing me. I'm ready to get in the water. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. making a splash this year, Kona Ice, serving up a flavor wave of delicious shaved ice. You tried one of these before? I actually haven't, no. Can we get two, please? All right. Ooh, where do we go? I'm thinking tiger's blood or watermelon. Island rush for me. There you go, cheers. Right. Splash Town also offers private cabanas with covered shade, lounge chairs, and hostess service for you and your guests. Ah, margaritas. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. There you go. All right, cheers. cheers. This is what I'm talking about. So what better to have with a margarita than a funnel cake? Ah, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. I love me some oh, funnel cake. Oh, yes, that Woo! looks good. Holy oh, roll, that's awesome. I also know Big Red is a big part of, of Splash Town as well, right? They are not only being San Antonio's favorite soft drink, oh, yeah. but if you bring in any Big Red can or bottle to Splash Town, you get him for up to $10 off. All right, so bring the family out to Splash Town this summer, and don't forget to tell them Yellow Texas sent you. It's only three minutes away from downtown San Antonio with plenty of options to beat the heat. See y'all. Make a splash and catch a wave in San Antonio by visiting SplashTownSA.com. We are just getting started. Escape with us to a tropical getaway right here in Texas. Hey y'all, welcome back to the show. For our next destination, we're splashing into the waters of the Guadalupe River where a certain Argentinian spur just took his family for summer vacation. That's right, we're heading back to Suns Island, but also testing our skills wake surfing and camping or should I say glamping? Yeah, either way, it's guaranteed to be a good time in Seguin, Texas. Welcome to Seguin. Just 50 miles away from the state's capital, this city is an attractive destination for those who want to shop, eat, gather, and skip those rivers clogged with tubes. It's a great Texas city with a unique historic story. So it's again, we were founded in 1838 by a group of 30, uh, 31 Texas Rangers. Uh, there we have uh, the Rangers Oaks um, here in our downtown historic district, which is where they supposedly met and laid out the foundation for what became Seguin. Um, and so from those 31 families that started it, we've grown to now a population of over 30,000. Seguin is also home to the biggest nutcracker collection in the entire world. The city's crops can produce around 3 million pounds of pecans and holds the world record for the largest pecan in the nation. Pecans were kind of a cash crop for the area and so then honor and tribute to that. In the 1950s they built the world's largest pecan here on the county court steps. And it's about six feet long made out of concrete. We are very proud of our pecans. We have an annual festival devoted to the pecan. But unfortunately a city in Missouri, Brunswick, Missouri, built a bigger pecan than ours. So we said we're not having that. We built an even bigger pecan and so that new world's largest pecan is out at the pecan museum that's at the Big Red Barn. Our 
trip today is all about summertime in Seguin. So if you're looking to extend your day trip into an overnight stay, look no further than our next destination. Nestled within the pecan trees are 20 vacation rental units, including numerous cabins and even tree houses. Welcome to Geronimo Creek Retreat, a beautiful vacation rental property right in the heart of Seguin. So to learn how the retreat idea came about, we met up with Blake. So it all started about in 2008. We really wanted a place that families could come and enjoy and really have a good time. And we kind of saw a need in Seguin in the local area that, that kind of needed that, that filler spot. Right. Um, it kind of started with just the tree houses and then definitely has grown exponentially from there. Yeah, you could definitely say that. Last year when we were here, the basketball court is now a tree house. So yeah, speaking of what we can do out here and the places that we can just rest our heads, what kind of amenities do y'all offer? We have five teepees, uh, Native American style teepees. We have 10 safari style getaway cabins, and then we also have four tree houses. Okay, and it's not only do you offer cabins and tree houses and places to stay, but there's also a bunch of water activities that families can enjoy. So what are those? Definitely, we sit right on the Geronimo Creek. It's a spring fed creek. Awesome all year round. We have complimentary kayaking, paddle boarding. It's an awesome place to swim. Great rope swing, everything like that out there. We have a lot of fire pits laying around the property at nighttime. Everybody likes to sit down, roast s'mores. Um, hang out at night, just enjoy the night. Do a lot of people just jump in the river or jump into the water and say, Geronimo! I would imagine so, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. I've heard oh, it a few okay. times. You're gonna have one person doing that today. Okay. <laughs> so check this out and don't be fooled by the outside because once you step inside, tons of space and hey, when can you say that you stayed the night in a teepee? Surrounded by a spring-fed pond, these traditional style teepees are fully furnished and come with a kitchenette. They're also insulated and air-conditioned for a comfortable night's sleep, especially during those hot summer nights. Or if your family's more like-minded and you need some extra space, I prefer going to the treehouse. They'll definitely get you covered. The tree houses offer plenty of space with the scenic view. Between the master bedroom, the loft, and the living room, these luxury tree houses can fit the whole entire family and then some. Oh my goodness, you know what's like really, really cool about these things is everything's taken care of for you. Linens, kitchenettes, even a hammock, air condition. I mean, what more do you need when you're gonna glamp, right? Have a smaller group, the getaway cabins are just for you. These cabins are elevated and designed to open up to an outdoor living deck. It's cozy, modern, and everything you need for a complete stay in Seguin. But there's more to this hidden spot than tree houses and teepees. Put away the phones and entertain the family because Geronimo Creek Retreat has all the water toys and indoor games needed. It's a one-of-a-kind retreat you gotta experience for yourself. Our time in Seguin is only beginning up next. It's island vibes and scenic sights right here on Yellow, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas, where summertime in Seguin means kicking back and chilling out, out on the water. With private access to the Guadalupe River, Suns Island is the perfect hub for all things kayaking, paddle boarding, and also has that tropical vibe like you're on island time, but right here in Texas. Suns Island is a private paradise surrounded by the waters of Lake Placid. It's a dream come true, even for owner Byron. When I first bought the place, I'd come out here and I really had to sit here and I just 
just kind of dream. I, I, I love the island. I love the natural beauty of the place. And I really wanted to create something that added to that natural beauty rather than you know take away from it. Absolutely. So the cabanas just seem like a you know great you know great fit. Oh man, it comes together really nicely, and uh, you, you. you do feel like you're not in Texas anymore. Yeah, for sure. So what are things that some of the families can enjoy, like types of activities that you know the family can go out and do? Well, you, we've got kayaks, uh, paddle boarding, uh, these eye floats that are that are very popular. You kind of you know lay out, or kids like to play on them. Yeah. Barbecuing, you know, just kind of really just kind of hanging out and relaxing, you know, lakeside. Okay, so I know that you obviously come out here and you enjoy it, but if you were to describe Suns Island in three words or just in a few ideas, how would you describe Suns Island? I would say family, fun, and relaxing. Suns Island is a tropical oasis with Hawaiian-style cabanas topped with palm leaf roofs. Lush plants and hammocks surround the area that leave you thinking you're on an island somewhere else. Come on in, the water feels great! Not ready to leave paradise? Suns Island provides pop-up tents for those wanting to extend their stay, camp out, and enjoy an evening of live music. There's no shortage of fun at Suns Island, from sand volleyball, slides, kayaks, paddle boards, eye floats, and more. There's not another place in Texas quite like this. And just when you thought you've seen it all, there's another thrill around the corner. Welcome to the best dam camp in Central Texas. So to show us around the property, we met up with the owner of the establishment, Eric. Well, born and raised here. Um, and then growing up here, we didn't have very many places to go. So I wanted something locally that people of Seguin could come and hang out and have a good time and you know be safe and be protected and and just truly enjoy themselves you know we're all gated here you know kids can run around they don't have to worry about traffic we have tons of stuff for all ages yeah you know? so we've seen entire families great grandparents you know teenagers and everyone's having a good time yeah all right but it all boils down to a place where families can come and have a good time. Right. A and damn good time. A damn good time. <laughs> I like that. These cabins may look a little unusual because they're actually refurbished cargo containers. Each property is situated near the dam and equipped with comfy beds, modern showers, and a great Texas view. I've uh, definitely been to a container store before, but never a container house. This is so cool. With acres and acres of activities, the best dam camp is sure to satisfy any outdoorsman. Stay right there, more water fun on the Guadalupe River coming up after the break. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas where we are on the Guadalupe River here in Seguin, Texas. And after a relaxing morning, it is time to kick it up a notch with Redbeard Boats. This water adventure takes you across the river and then so, and joining us today is the man himself, Yarr. Captain Redbeard. So we started in uh, 2016. It kind of stemmed from Suns Island popped up on the river. Yeah. And I just was like, those people want to probably go on boats. <laughs> so uh, yeah. <laughs> the first year I did it, it was just the pontoon. And then uh, the second year, I incorporated the uh, jet ski tube rides, okay. and then also kayaks and paddle boards. Oh, cool. Um, so Suns Island does their own thing, but if you want to go somewhere else on the river, yeah. I'll drop off the kayaks and paddle boards. And then this year will be the first year with the ski boat. Anything you want to do on the water is kind of our tagline. Yeah. Um, and I try and just facilitate you know that. Yeah. So. so what about any recommendations? If you want to do something a little bit more chill, relax, what boat should we rent? Definitely the pontoon boat. I mean, that's kind of the slow putting around, you know, just chilling. You know, you can bring a cooler of beer. We can throw a splash mat on there and, you know, we kind of just anchor out of the dam and swim. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to sit back, relax, enjoy a nice cold brew and uh, I'll let you do the rest. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Let's do it. Screws it.
come out on the pontoon and have a good time. But if you're looking for something with a little more speed, Redbeard also rents out a ski boat, captain included. It's ideal for wakeboarding, tubing, and surfing, which we'll be doing today. So wake surfing is you wake down one side of the boat okay. to make a surfable wave. Okay. So you'll get up with a rope, and then you'll let go of that rope, and then you're surfing a wave, what? like in the ocean. Rock and roll, let's shred the gnar. So the board's gonna be like this in the water. Okay. And you're gonna be laying back in the water. Okay. You know, kind of floating. And then I'm gonna give the boat a little bit of gas, okay. and then it's gonna, the board's gonna go like that. Yeah, and you're gonna. Stand up. Yeah. But not like this, but stand up. Yeah, you'll, you'll you know, <laughs> let the boat pull you up. Okay. And then as it pulls you up, you just stand up. Okay. All right, I'll give it an old college try. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the wake surf do's and don'ts. Do listen to your instructor and let the water handle most of the work. Don't be like me and try to muscle yourself on top of a wave. You won't get very far. And just like that, our day in Sagi has come to an end. All right, so if you're looking to beat the heat, jump in the water, stay the night, Seguin has plenty of options for you to choose from. It's right off of I-10, and if you're in the area, just make your way out here. Ready to explore Seguin for yourself? Head to seguintexas.gov for more on all the places we visited today. Unfortunately, our show has come to an end, and as always, please like us on our social media sites, and don't forget to visit our website for a complete archive of our past adventures. Until next time, it's a big world, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see you out there.